Hi, my name is Leia, and this video is to help you get started on the EarSketch CACA Hackathon. What I suggest is you have one tab open with this video and one tab with EarSketch. And when I show the pause image on the video, you can pause the video and try to reproduce what I've done in your EarSketch tab. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to earsketch.gatdeck.edu. And then from this page, we're going to click on Get Started. So when you get on there, you're going to have several little windows here. So here is the code editor where you're going to write your code. Here is where you can have your sounds and your different scripts. Uh, when you run your code by clicking here, it's going to appear, well, the sounds are going to appear in the digital audio workstation. So this is where you're going to visualize your music. And this is your console where you can see if you have any mistakes or if the code ran well. Uh, you can click on this icon to open the curriculum, uh, which is a complete uh, introduction to CS course. Uh, so you can see three units and you have a lot of um, curriculum material. So let me close it just for now. Uh, first, you can create an account. So we're going to create a new account. You have to have a password, but you don't need to enter your email address. Not compulsory. OK, so we created our account. So what we're going to do is write our first script. So click here to create a new script. You have to find an, a name for your script. So we're going to call it Awesome Song. And then you can find your language, so either Python or JavaScript. For us, we're going to use Python. And then create your script. Um, so you can see that there's some text already written. Uh, the gray area is for your comments, so it's not going to change your code. It's just for you to remember which part of the code does what. Um, and then you have some code already written here. So you, what you need to remember is everything that you're going to write needs to be between the set tempo which sets the speed of the music and the finish line. So what we're going to do is we're going to write uh, we're going to write code using the blocks. So you can go to your toolbox here and click on toggle blocks mode. Okay, so this is easier if your students are really getting started if they've never coded before uh, because it's harder to make uh, mistakes. Uh, the codes are already written and they can just assemble it like a puzzle. So it's uh, slightly easier than writing text. But at the end, I'll show you what the text looks like. Okay, so like we said earlier, we have the set tempo and finish and we have to write our code in between. 